How to interlock contactors. For the process minimum of two contactors must be constant, in which have tags it for identification. This is the input terminals of the contactors which always active. And this is the output terminals of the contactors which don't have power on unless the contactors engage. With the NC terminals of the the contactors that always have continuity while the contactor is in off mode. And NO that have no continuity. This is the live and nurture main power supply, to power the contactors. The nurture will be connect to the both A2 terminals of the contactor 1 and 2. And for the control 2 stop push buttons need, and 2 start push buttons is require, in which it have already been tags. The connection go by connect the live supply to the input of the both 1 and 2 stop push buttons. And connect the output of the both 1 and 2 stop push buttons, to the input of both 1 and 2 start push buttons. The output start push button 1 will be connect to the NC output terminal of the contactor 2 and the NC input terminal of the contactor 2 will be connect to the A1 terminal of the contactor 1. The output terminal of the stop push button 1 will be connect to the NO input terminal of the contactor 1, and the NO output terminal of the contactor 1 will be connect to the A1 terminal of the contactor 1. With this steps the contactor 1 is be retained, and is well interlock with the contactor 2, because the A1 terminal of contactor 1 can only power when the both NC input and output terminals of the contactor 2 have continuity. For contactor 2 connection, the output of the start push button 2 will be connect to the NC output terminal of the contactor 1, and the NC input terminal of contactor 1 will be connect to the A1 terminal of contactor 2. The output of stop push button 2 will be connect to the NO input terminal of the contactor 2, and the NO output terminal of the contactor 2 will be connect to the A1 terminal of the contactor 2. With this the contactor 2 is be retained, and interlock with contactor 1. Now the connection is completely, and is ready for simulating testing. I click on start button 1, the contactor 1 energize and give output. And I click on start button 2, the contactor 2 do not on, all because the NC input and output in contactor 1 is break and trun to NO when the contactor 1 is energize, which did not give continuity to the NC input of contactor 1 to power the A1 terminal in the contactor 2, to complete the circuit for contactor 2 to energize. I click on stop button 1, and contact it 1 off immediately. I click on start button 2, contactor 2 energize and give output. I click on start button 1, contactor 1 did not on all because contactor 2 is in operation, and as we already known when a contactor energize the auxiliary contact will switch positions by the NC terminals will change to NO and the NO terminals will change to NC. This means the NO terminals in contactor 2 is connect together and changes to NC which is the retaining contact power from the output stops push button 2 to the A1 terminal of contactor 2. And it NC terminals that connect together before to power A1 of contactor 1 is break and turn to NO. In which contactor 1 can never be power in this mode. I click on stop button 2, and contactor 2 off instantly. Now I click the both 1 and 2 start button at the same time and see what happened. Any one of the contactors that quickly receive the single will energize and give output between the both contactors. Please stay tuned, and see you in the next video.